Hey everybody, welcome to the video, Namaste. And now I just wanted to make a little video about Eckhart Tolle. Um, he's one of my favourite ever teachers and I want to talk about uh, his book A New Earth. Um, I think it's a phenomenal book, I highly recommend it. But And like all of his other books actually. I, but I just want to say something, like a critique about his video, his um, book A New Earth. Myself and one person I know and many other people I'm sure we got extremely confused when we read the story from A New Earth about the monk who was accused of like having a baby making a young girl pregnant and when people just came, when people angry family knocked on his door and asked him like how dare you what you got my my young daughter pregnant he was like is that so and he doesn't deny it he doesn't say anything he doesn't say it was a lie he doesn't say anything he doesn't defend himself he doesn't try and defend the truth or not even defend but just simply to, to tell the truth in his absence of the monk's absence of words in his choice of words and in everything he does not say he totally creates the impression that what the, the young girl her lie saying that that blaming the monk for the pregnancy who wasn't really the father at all the monk gives the impression and, and like helps to continue the lie and an untruth in life and this is like a story in the book about like the idea of acceptance and this is totally misleading like this isn't what acceptance is at all this is a huge strongly critique I have to say to Eckhart's book I'm not sure why he has this in the book and if it was me I'd definitely remove the story from new editions of the book even the word acceptance is almost slightly misleading and many people say what am I supposed to do just accept a bad situation I'm in and do nothing and that's like totally not the truth and this story lends to that untruth uh, to that confusion <laughs> so I hope anybody watching now knows what acceptance is what acknowledgement is it's acknowledgement it's it's quitting the internal fight or the battle with what already exists in actuality so you don't set waste time having a huge internal do like fight and negative dialogue and complaining and, cr and condemning and criticizing an event you just say you just deal with the event but you deal with it from a place of like acknowledgement or you know peace with the facts of the situation that's another way of saying like, okay uh, it's a shitty situation but okay Com complaining about it in my head like 24 7 for the next 10 hours isn't going to do anything and it's just going to get me stressed so to say i accept is basically just to say okay well i make peace with the fact of the situation it's really not it's like i make peace with the fact of this moment the situation as it stands at this moment knowing that the next second the next instant the next few minutes can be totally different depending on how i behave so it's completely interactive it's never stale or stagnant it's it's never a resignation saying okay well i'm just going to give up and do nothing it's always it's totally got to do with like feeling inner peace towards the situation like a, a degree of okayness feeling okay feeling all right with the facts but then also being willing to right now possibly do stuff or say things or do things that will change the situation towards the way you prefer a situation to be so for example in the situation like you could say no um it wasn't me i never had sex with the, your daughter um i believe for obviously to be not high telling a lie here she, maybe she is afraid to tell who the real father is because she's afraid to like tell tell who it is anyway the what happened in that story with the monk was um i can't remember what happened in the story with the monk in the end anyway they found out that he wasn't the father and that it was actually her boyfriend or something like that <laughs> which makes a lot more sense i suppose maybe it wasn't her boyfriend but it was somebody else like she knows I think it might have been her friend or her boyfriend anyway. So other than that, can I just say that the, A New Earth is just a truly phenomenal book. <laughs>
I love Eckhart Tolle. He's my number one favorite teacher, basically speaking. So it's definitely not anything personal with Eckhart Tolle. I think he's a beautiful man also. He's a funny little man. He's just beautiful, very, very full of lightness. And if I could just say the reason why he's full of lightness is because of what he talks about. He feels himself as the silent observer of the present moment. And he, he, he notices the present moment. Like in my room, for example, I'm in my shorts. He, he, he just sees stuff. Like, and he hears the quietness of the room. He notices these things. And the reason why he notices is because he isn't like stuck in consistent thoughts about the past and the future. That's all. So, there's my critiques of A New Earth. I highly recommend the book and all of his other books. They changed my life forever and they're, they're so good I bought the books for everybody else. And so you enjoy them. And here's my girlfriend Sally sneaking into the room. <laughs> hey, babe, come on in and show people your beautiful dress. You don't, do you want it? <laughs> she has a beautiful dress, I know. It's very, it's like purple. <laughs> I keep remarking like on it all the time. It's so nice, it's so nice, it's so nice, it's beautiful, it's lovely, it's lovely, lovely. And that's an example of being in the present moment. You notice things. Whereas if you can imagine someone's like thinking about thinking about like the next minute or the next day or the, something, they'd be so stressed on thinking about the future, they won't notice anything in the present moment. They won't be able to notice a, a nice stress. So I'll keep this video short so so I don't really know what else to say, but if you feel anything you want to say, like leave your comments below the video and you're welcome to subscribe or the video. Subscribe and check out my other videos, which are probably much more interesting than this video. <laughs> and I'll see you again soon, okay?